Hello guys, how's it going? This is Isaac Pendragon, and welcome to Fantasy Squad The Era Begins. This is a fantasy RPG strategy mobile game that was made by Bustonic Games and released by Onpay, a South Korean game publisher. Now before we begin, for my Indonesian audience, I'll be using English throughout the video since this is a collaboration with the UTH702 from Philippines, so I hope you either know your basics or have a dictionary ready. The story background is about a task force that got separated after entering another realm from the wall and the leaders, Tyne, together with his friend Elisha, embark on a quest to regroup with them. But as per standard RPG rule, they got into something bigger than they thought before. Just like usual, huh? Now let's talk about the gameplay. First off, the lobby screen, where you can manage everything such as your hero's formation, item acquisitions, recruit more heroes to your cause, etc, etc. On the top left corner, you can see the amount of gold that can be used for a lot of things such as buying rare items or heroes, leveling up skills, and upgrades for your items and heroes as well. Jewels to buy those awesome, very rare items or heroes, medals for upgrading your items or heroes as well, and keys which is basically your energy to do expeditions that replenishes after a while. You can also check for quests that you can clear for additional rewards here, some of them give rare heroes as well. The next is the combat. It's mostly automated and you only have control over the hero skills and guardian summons. You can pretty much leave it as it is with increased speed if you're not having a hard time. There are three types of battle that you can play. The basic one is during expedition, your standard PvE mode that progress the story of the game. The next is the challenge mode, where you defend against wave of enemies. And finally, the arena, which is the PvP mode where you'll engage other players' team. Overall, the game is pretty fun to play. Combat is easy enough that you can go through the first stages while barely looking at the screen and eat some snacks while watching a movie or something. However, the upgrading might be a bit punishing since the resources are not easy to come by, especially on earlier levels. If you want to try the game, the download link is right under the description. Oh, and by the way, there's a coupon code that you can use in game to get free stuffs. The code is SNWFREE4. Snoo Free 4. Yeah, just like that. And that's all from me for now. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. With that being said, hope you have a good day, and I will see you guys later.